Hi, I'm Sasha Bridge. Today you will hear a lot of foreign names, but the truth is that all of these are Russian brands. Actually, in Russia we have many makeup companies, but they all pretend to be from other countries. It's a pity because we have many Russian companies that have great products and they never talk about that they're made in Russia. Как я должна снимать? Let's start from some beauty brands. And the first one I've got here is this cleansing face lotion from White Agafia. This is a super budget Russian brand that can cost less than a dollar. Honestly, this brand has a really poor rating among customers. So, uh, yeah. the grand opening has failed. So let's just put this lotion on a cotton pad hey, and drag it around our face. It smells like flowers, daisies. The cotton pad gets a bit dirty, so it looks like this lotion is working. Or you just have a very dirty face. Cool. I have a dirty face now. So this lotion feels really nurturing, it's like a cream actually, and my face feels really, really hydrated, I would say. I like it. I would give it like a 4 out of 5. So let's go to the next brand. These are one of my favorite eye patches that are made by the first male beauty blogger in Russia. They make like micro-needle patches for your eyes. And when you tap on it, you can feel this really small needles coming into your skin, but it's like a really pleasant feeling. I like it. And this step I am afraid of because the price of this cream is 90 cents. That's the Kot Olgul Cream. Even a dollar store brand doesn't want to show its origin. So I just put this cream on my face and it does feel kind of funny, cheap. And I'll probably have to take off these eye patches from my face. Let's just see how it looks. So that's how they look afterwards. Maybe you can even see the small needles. I really like this eye patches because after them, my eyes feel really fresh and I feel that I can go to the next step. And so for my foundation, I will use these two. This is a beauty blender from the brand Chic Brushes. This brand is owned by a Russian makeup artist. And this brand that is called Art Visage. So this is the regular beauty blender. This is the Chic Brushes beauty blender. So huge, like, God almighty, girl. Dab it around my face. This is the first time that I used this foundation. It has really good reviews and I heard, like, great comments about it online. Despite the huge size of this beauty blender, it's actually really easy to use. Okay, I'm finished putting the foundation and I actually love, love the result. It covered every spot, every redness on my face and it just looks really nice, feels great, I love it and I will use it again for sure. Okay, the next one I will use a concealer and this brand is called Vivienne Sabot. And you may ask me, parlez français? And I will answer you that this is not a French brand. <laughs> This concealer is very affordable. It costs like $4 and lasts for a very long time. The concealer is on. There's nothing bad I can say about it because it's my favorite brand. I will go to the brows and I will use a brow pencil that is made by the same company, Vivienne Sabot. It's Gasport. Pablige, можно? Можно поближе? Я просто чешу бровь. Дай почесать бровь. Давай, приближай. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. Now we have to fix them with a fixing gel. And I will use the Stellary, honestly, my most favorite fixing gel after the MAC. It is a Russian company as well, but they don't produce most of their products in Russia. By the way, this gel is very affordable. It costs $200. 200 rubles, which is $3. <laughs> the eyebrows are done and now we can go to our face. And we will use the blush from Divage. <laughs> Despite other brands, you may even know this one. Because it positions itself as a Milano brand and is sold in many countries in Europe. But anyway, these products are produced in Russia and are owned by a Russian holding. Give me a smile and let's put it on our cheekies. Even though Divage is a mass market brand, I still feel it's kind of expensive. For example, this blush costs 360 rubles. Is how much dollars? It's like six dollars. Okay. From my Russian point of view, 360 rubles is kind of a lot. But okay, six dollars doesn't feel that much. Still really, очень affordable. Okay, I'm done with the blush. <gasps> 
I know what I want to do. I have this palette here. It's from Vivian Sabo. You already know this brand, yeah? Of course. Come closer. Come, that's all? Okay, stop, stop, stop. 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 They have eight colors. I want to make a really pinkish look. I'll take this baby pink color. This is the first time I used this palette as well, and I have no idea how it will show up on my face. I don't see a thing. What? Oh, this color is too white. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Somebody, 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 somebody. Let's go for a darker pink color. I want to take this bright soda pink. Very sheer. Here we're talking. We're talking. Oh, it's looking cute. Cute. <laughs> Yeah. Now I will take the darker pink color and put it in the outer corner. And now I will fade this color out with a fluffy brush. I want falafel. I want falafel too. And then I will take this shade over here and put it into the inner corner. Now let's do the same thing with the other eye. This part was primed only by a concealer. And on this side, I've primed it with an eyeshadow. You can see the difference in colors. All in all, like the palette was great. It costs $6 and it's just so good. I like it a lot. And now I have the mascara that is from the brand Duvage. I've never used it before. Oh, it's kind of watery. Oh, oh my God, look at my lashes. This side and this side, look how long they look. God, it looks kind of spooky. Spider legs or something like that. But I don't like spiders. Mm, no, I don't like this side. Let's try it on the other eye. It has volume, it has like length to the lashes, but they look so unnatural and dirty. No, no. In the close up, you can see how dirty and how disgusting the lashes look, but maybe like from here, you can't really see it. But still, I don't like how they look on the lashes. I, I don't like this mascara. Yes, I will put Oh my god, I forgot. I have this powder from the brand Estrade. This brand also positions itself as a Spanish or Italian brand. The brand is made in Russia, but it is ordered by a Spanish company. Uh, let's just go. Oh my god. It's really cute actually inside. It has like this cushion. Looks really expensive. And you know what? This powder costs 200 ribbles. For $3, you get a mirror as well. Oh wow, it's kind of whitey. I can, I can feel how it... God, oh my god. The powder is just like goes into the air. Looking older. I'm looking older? I've heard very good reviews about this powder. It looks cheap, yeah. Mm, I don't want to look cheap. The powder ruined everything, guys. I want to put back my blush. I've liked the blush. Okay, that's sad. Anyway, from the same company Estrade, I've got this really cool highlighter. I love this highlighter. Do you see it? This highlighter cost me 150 rubles. Yeah, I've put too much. Okay, let's go to the other side. I've put it too high, I'm sorry. I usually put it like right here. We put it under our eyebrow. Now we can put it on our nose. As always, I'm putting too much, but maybe there's never too much for a highlighter. Oh, oh, what is this? <laughs> no, 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 no. You have to be careful with it. Sasha, don't be so stupid. You're making a video. You have to show how to use products, not to. Why does it look so stupid on the camera? I don't know why. You look stupid since you were born. <laughs> you were born, you stupid. Yes. Were born. One more place where you can use it. Inner corner of the eye. Right here. Or nipples. I'll come here. Nah, don't touch my nipples. I'll just the beauty blender a little bit just to fade it out oh my god it <laughs> sucks it really does why i always thought it today, looks good today I reached the maximum level of S -S. oh god <laughs> shit okay girls the last step is our lips and i will use an estrada product again both of the other products that we used before from this brand failed i never used this lipstick before so i'm scared let's just pray it says that it has a matte finish, but still, like, I've put it on my lips and I don't feel any matte at all. This is a $3 lipstick, okay? The color is really good. It matches my skin perfectly, but... It's not matte! Or it is. 
I'm not impressed, but I'm fine. And I like the color, and that's all I need right now. And I didn't fail with painting my nails right now, or my lips right now. <laughs> So these were all of the brands and let's just check the final look. What can I say? I love the foundation. It has really high coverage. At the same time, it's light. Like I don't feel it on my face at all. I'm not sure if this is the perfect color for me. The idea is that this is the lightest color and it does look still kind of dark on me. I love the brows. I always use these products for my brows, the Stellary fixing gel and the Vivienne Sabo brow pencil. The beauty blender is okay. It, it costed 300 rubles. Uh, Real beauty blender is for $20. The eye patches, I can't say nothing bad about them. I love them. The cleansing face lotion. First impression was good for me. I'll still use it. Face two just suck. Okay, the mascara didn't work for me. It sucks, okay? It's a suck for me. Talking about new products, the palette, it was good. This side is still brighter than the uh, this one. Girls, it's a good Russian product and I'm impressed, okay? As you can see, this is the face that was made fully using only Russian makeup brands. What did you like the most? Please write in the comments below. And still, I'm waiting for a like from you and maybe you can subscribe to my channel. I'll be really happy for that. I'll see you soon in the next video. How do you do it? Bye. Okay, goodbye. Please stop recording. Stop recording. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. We've been recording for three hours. Or no, four hours. No one gives a 